Hello everybody, it's me ZZ. Today we are going to go over some things to help you make your own items as you see me doing a lot of the time, like these grapes or these curtains and blinds. I'm going to show you what the advanced edit tools do to help you do that. But before we get started, please subscribe to this video. And if you haven't done so already, please go to Steam and leave a review for the game. That will help the devs and me help you. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is go into the Furnish menu, and right here is a button for freeform objects. I love this button, but it brings up all of the objects that we can use. Each category has the same shapes, so you have a large cone. Well, they have the same shapes, but they don't all have different sizes. So we have cones, we have cubes, we have cylinders, we have half spheres, hemispheres, we have full spheres, and we also have a, a semicircular panel. There's also different textures, so we just have the regular white texture, you have uh, glass textures, you have metal textures, and you have wood textures. All of these textures give it a different look depending on what you're doing. So today let's use a glass one because I really love this glass. So I'm going to change it to a different color so that we can see it a little better. All right, now. You have your cube. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna click the cube. And when you click the cube, it brings up the menu down below and you can see the area that says Advanced Edit. And what this does is it allows us to change the item. So first, this first Advanced Move button is the arrows. And these arrows allow us to move it a different direction. So we can move it back and forth. We can move it side to side, or we can move it up and down. This next button is the Advanced Rotate, and this will bring up different color circles that we can use. So if we highlight the red one and pull forward or go back, it will move it forward and back and rotate it that way. If we do the blue one, it will rotate it left to right. And if we do the center circle, it will just turn the item around for you. And to get out of that, you just right click. Click the item again so that you can enable the advanced edit menu. And this last one is the advanced scale. When you click that, it will bring up another thing just like it did with the arrows, except this one has a little square on the top, not an arrow. And this one tells you that you're basically changing the shape or the size. So we're going to take this one and it will pull it out make it thin, make it long, however you want to do it. So that's the length. This one will be the width. Does the same thing, but the other direction. And then this one will make it taller or shorter. Let's go over here so you can see that better. Taller or shorter, taller or shorter. And that's basically how you use the advanced edit tools. Now there are key bind shortcuts for, the, for some of these. Um, so the advanced edit tools you can cycle through by using X. So if you were to push X, it'll bring up the first one, which is the advanced move. Push X again, it will bring up the advanced rotate, and press X again to bring up the advanced scale. I am a mouse clicker though, especially when I do tutorials, so that you guys can always see what I'm doing. Um, but that is basically the way that that advanced edit menu works, and you can do that with all of those freeform objects. Now the one thing that you can also do with this is rotate other items and move them. So let's go to show you how to do that real quick. Here we're going to use a couch. Okay, let's get rid of this so we get rid of the alert. Alright, so we have this couch and now we want to put it back there in the corner. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this, click the arrows, the advanced edit arrows, and move it back to where we want it. So we kind of want it over here in this corner. Well, that doesn't look very good. I want to rotate it so that it's kind of actually in the corner. So right here in the Customize menu, you can either use this one to rotate a full 90 degrees, but that doesn't really put it where we want it either. So we're going to go back over here to the Advanced Rotate, and this will give us a circle that we can move it wherever we want in that rotation so that we can place it nicely in the corner just like that. The other thing that you can do with the customized tools besides this 90 degree rotate 
is you can move the object again. So if we were to click this first one with the four arrows in the customize tool, that picks up the item so that you can move it wherever you want. The next one after the rotate is the duplicate. If you click that, it will duplicate your item and you can move that wherever you want. And the last one is to change the colors. If you click that, it will give us the two colors of the couch. Well, we want this couch to be black and bright pink. So this top color, we're going to make our bright pink and this bottom color, we're going to make black. Now, if you wanna save that color, all you have to do is go over here into the empty boxes that you see here and you hit Alt click to save that color. If you wanted to save the black, you just click the black panel and then go over here, Alt click to save. So now you can use those colors on anything else moving forward. That is your basic use of the advanced edit and customize tools. Once you start to get familiar with those after playing around with all the items in the furnish menu, then you will be able to really customize your hotel rooms and your hotels to make them exactly how you want them. It does open up a plethora of opportunities for you to do different ideas and not really just place it where the game kind of has it placed for you. So be sure to use these tools. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm in the Discord and uh, in our About panel is where you can find all the links to where you can find me. Thank you everybody and I hope this helps. Have a great day.